This is the South African Morning. Good to have you back. Now, there are countless lessons to be learned from the COVID-19 pandemic that devastated economies, families, and even killed thousands. So as we reflect on coronavirus, we ask, how should the country prepare for the next pandemic? And is our healthcare system quite ready? Let's unpack this further with CSIR Group Executive for Advanced Chemistry and Life Sciences. This is Dr. Rachel Shikwamba. Doc, thank you for your time and uh, good morning to you. I suppose it's a moment for us to reflect back uh, uh, on COVID-19 as a pandemic. Yes, COVID-19 is still uh, in our midst, but through what the country, the continent, the world has been through and went through, uh, of course, during the peak of COVID-19, what are some of the lessons uh, for the South African healthcare? Thank you very much for having me. I think we've learned a lot since the COVID pandemic hit our shores uh, in 2020. And in fact, the three things that I would like to highlight is that we have learned the value of data. We have learned in decision, in the value of data in effective decision making and policy making. We have learned how to innovate at pace and we have learned how to collaborate. And I think much as we really suffered during the um, pandemic, we've come out better, we've learned a lot and um, will be better prepared for the next one. Yeah. In terms of lessons, I mean, when we look at how we could have uh, handled COVID-19, many lives uh, being lost, the response rate, uh, bed capacity in you know, different hospitals, uh, many you know, previous uh, critics saying that COVID-19 has put a microscope on the inequalities within healthcare in South Africa. Uh, how could we have done better and how should we do better moving forward? Thank you very much. And I'm glad you asked that because... As part of that learning, we have developed what we call the National Policy Data Observatory, a place and a facility that collects all this type of data at district level to support decision making. We could understand where the, how the population is distributed, how the facilities are also distributed, how we could move resources as and when they are required as part of that particular learning. In fact, I could say that because of that capability, strategic capability that we've put in place, we will fare better when next the pandemic, when the pandemic comes next. It's a question of when and not if. So for me, I think we have equipped ourselves better for the learning. The information that we have learned, everything from populations and household distribution and service delivery at the household level, facilities that are accessible, resources that they have, and how we can mobilize this mm. is information we can use beyond the COVID-19 disaster, you know. Uh, so I think we've learned yeah. tough lessons, but we're better positioned for it. Yeah. Doc, I'm glad you raised the point around information because I just wonder uh, what's been the impact of fake news, particularly around COVID-19 and, and that impact to healthcare workers and the work that you, you, you had in front of you, just in terms of not only, you know, uh, intervening uh, to help patients, to help South Africans uh, either prevent uh, getting infected, recover uh, after being infected, but also disseminating information. There was so much information competition even on social media, uh, what knock-on effect did that have on your work? I think for us, the point is to always get to the evidence. What does the data tell you and how do you strategically respond? But I think one of the key lessons is, even as we learned what we learned, how did we communicate with the communities and with the public? And I think as scientists, we learned a lot about communicating in as simple terms as is possible to allow ourselves to connect with the communities, to connect with the population as they went through, as we all went through really, uh, moments of much anxiety. But you know, my worldview is one of innovation. And I think one of the things that I want to talk about this morning is how we managed to pivot very, very strong, strongly using our strategic innovation mm. capabilities able to put in technologies that helped us to deal with this disaster. <clears throat> I want to talk about the way that we were able to very, very quickly design equipment that helped us, respirators, for example, that helped us, ventilators, we call them, that helped us to deal with large populations that needed ventilator support as they were hit by the disease and they needed to um, 
of course, be helped to breathe. We managed to design mm. equipment that would save imported. We managed to put it through the regulatory paces and we got it approved and distributed at record pace. To me, those are some of the good things that came out of the pandemic. And in fact, such strategic capabilities position us better as we look into the future. We also managed to mm -hmm. the entrepreneurial spirit of the country come to the fore. There were companies that were formed in the recent past that were able to do things such as develop diagnostic kits at the CSIR, we helped the company, Kebayo, come up with diagnostic kits that were approved by SAPRA to be able to enhance our testing capacity. So for me, I think those are some of the good things that came out of um, the pandemic. Right. And I think we're not looking, we're positioning and pivoting very strongly in building on these particular capabilities. Of course, and we'll commend uh, our healthcare, you know, workers for all the work that you have done uh, during this uh, global pandemic. Uh, CSIR Group Executive for Advanced Chemistry and Life Sciences, Dr. Rachel Shikwamba, thank you so much uh, for your time.